Hey, what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So I've got the Google Pixel 3, the Samsung S10 Plus. If you're thinking about buying either one of these phones and you just wanna see the quality of the cameras, then uh, this is the video for you. I've taken a few pictures of the front cameras and the back cameras. I've also taken some video footage. You can maybe look at the stabilization, the colors, the brightness, and also a bit on the audio test to see when you're speaking and using your phone as a vlogging camera, how that comes out as well. So I've uh, taken a very few amount of these. If you want to see any of them for a little bit longer, then do pause the video. I'll be going through them very quickly. I don't want to waste anyone's time. And if you have any questions, then do drop a comment below. Otherwise, I'll give you my final review at the end of the video after you've seen all of the clips and photos. And let's just get straight into it. I can seem to lift my head straight Just lay in the shades with you Win or lose, we take it guys so this is an audio test so have a look on the top corners of the screen to see which audio is playing either the uh, Samsung S10 or the Google Pixel 3 so I'm just walking and uh, you can also see a bit of the uh, stabilization I'll be switching between the different audios as well to show you the difference in the quality and how it comes up I've got the same settings on I've got the phones at the same distance so um, hopefully uh, you guys can uh, see a difference in the audio and uh, just do a bit of a comparison so let me know what you guys think of that Okay, so you may have noticed I didn't include any portrait pictures in there. So the Google Pixel 3 comes with portrait mode. The uh, Samsung phones come with live focus mode. Now, the reason I haven't included this is because I feel like there's no competition. The Google Pixel 3 will always be better. The software that they render with the portrait modes is far much better than any other smartphone out there. I've not been very keen on using live focus modes on the Samsung phones for a long time. They do. A reasonably good job when you're out in bright light but in low lighting it's just not that great it's very blurry and they are miles away from competing with the uh, Google Pixel portrait modes as you can see here in a few examples so the one thing I've noticed with the Samsung phones and specifically the Samsung Galaxy cameras is that they're not very good at capturing people in their pictures with landscapes and shots of uh, just architecture objects that kind of stuff it's really good quality and the Samsung phones have really good video and audio quality and they win in that part. When it comes to taking pictures of people and utilizing the wide angle lenses in the camera, the Google Pixel 3 will always win in that part. So if you're the type of person that always takes a lot of selfies, takes group pictures, photography of other people, then the Google Pixel 3 is the way to go. Now I'm not saying the camera is not that great compared to the Samsung S10 camera. It's in some cases is very close and in some cases the video is also a little bit better on the Pixel 3 as well. If I was to give an opinion, 
overall if i was buying a phone specifically just for camera and doing a lot of photography i would stay with the google pixel 3 if you want to get some uh, really good sharper images some very good video stabilization footage good cinematic footage for videography i would go for the samsung s10 plus so that's my opinion guys let me know what you guys think down below there's a poll here in the top corner let me know what you guys think about which is your favorite camera based on what you've seen and if there's anything else you'd like me to review specifically with the new samsung s10 plus then do let me know otherwise thanks for watching guys i'll see you at the next one take care